A reading from Paul's epistle to the Colossians. Even now I find my joy in the suffering I endure for you. In my own flesh I fill up what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ for the sake of his body, the church. I became a minister of this church through the commission God gave me to preach among you his word in all its fullness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today, St. Paul tells us that he finds joy even in the midst of suffering. How could this be? Because St. Paul knows that the suffering he is undergoing will lead to the salvation of others. So often in life, we must be willing to suffer for others. This is not a type of suffering that we run after. Rather, it's the difficulties of life, the trials and circumstances that come our way. And we have the choice to resist them, to become angry and full of rage that life is not working out how we desire it. Or we can be as St. Paul, and in the midst of those difficult moments, during heartache, during times that feel without hope, we continue to press forward. We embrace the suffering with love, with charity, with kindness. And in doing so, we show others around us that the hope of God is eternal, that no matter the situations which come against us, we serve a God of victory. Today we celebrate Our Lady of Sorrows. Today is the octave of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so on my right, we have the infant Mary for her final day in the chapel. And on my left, we have Our Lady of Sorrows. It's difficult to remember at times that the Blessed Virgin endured many sufferings and trials upon this earth. Her heart was wounded many times, and yet she continued to love. She continued to offer God's kindness to those around her, and to this day she makes intercession in heaven for all of her children. Just like our Lord Jesus, who was born in a creche destined to stretch forth his hands upon the cross to save our souls. Likewise, the Blessed Virgin Mary, born as a holy infant, was destined to stand at the foot of the cross and to share in her son's suffering and to become the mother of us all. The next time that life sends difficulties your way, the next time that you find yourself suffering perhaps for reasons, and perhaps for no reason at all. May you find the strength to pray to Our Lady of Sorrows. May you be strengthened and reminded that sorrow only lasts for a season, and joy is always promised to return. For we know that Our Lady of Sorrows was no longer sorrowful on that Easter morning when she heard that her son, had risen from the dead. Never lose heart, my friends. No matter what we face, God will work it together for good, and he will bring us to the light of hope, peace, and everlasting resurrection. Amen. Through you we drink from the wellspring of salvation, O Blessed Virgin Mary. Through you we drink from the wellspring of salvation, O Blessed Virgin Mary. From the sacred wounds of Christ, we drink from the wellspring of salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Through you we drink from the wellspring of salvation, O blessed Virgin Mary. Holy Mother, you are one of us, a sister in Christ, a fellow human, and our Divine Mother. We ask you to pray for us always, that when sufferings come our way, we would not flee from them, but through love we would use these difficult situations to grow in faith and to offer the hope of your Son to those around us. Amen. 